Hey Booktube, um, this is going to be my um, announcement updates and um, TBR video. <clears throat> uh -huh. um, so first off, um, for the first time, and I heard people talking about this, but for the first time, I've had a huge drop in views. Um... Now, normally, I get between 100 and 125 views within the first um, couple hours of a video going live. And the last video I did was on Wednesday. And we might be able to blame it on Batman because it was about Batman. Um... But after a day of that video being up, I only had 30 views on it. Now, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe just no one wanted to watch it because it was about Batman. But what I'm worried about is that you're not getting notified. Um, there are a lot of channels that I subscribe to. That over the last couple weeks, I haven't been getting notifications. So I've been, as I remember, um, I'll go to their page and click the bell. So if you're watching this right now, whether you're on your phone or on your computer, underneath there's a little bell. Just tap it and it'll put the little lines on it. And that way um, you will be notified when I post new content. And make sure you do that with everybody you really like watching. Because there's a good possibility that you've been missing a lot of videos. So that's one. Two, um, for the Pulp Fiction Literary Podcast. Um, the f Like, I'm behind on it. So the first week I didn't do it, I didn't do it because, um, I forgot. Like, I got my days mixed up and I just completely forgot to do it. Then last week was my daughter's last week of school and it was just like really crazy. There was like a ton of events she had to go to on top of everything else and she was getting home earlier. Um, so that was just crazy. And then this week... Yesterday, on Thursday, when I would normally do the podcast, she went to Warp Tour, and um, I was having, like, anxiety panic all day, wondering what she was doing. So, any normal thing I was supposed to do, completely forgot. <clears throat> so, I have been working on my notes for the episode today, and I'll probably have it up today or tomorrow, depending um, I also wanted to say that the first issue of Weird Mask is done, and um, it is ready to get. So we got fun little stuff. I'll give you a little tidbits of stuff. And this first issue is black and white. And most of them are going to be black and white, but there is some color stuff that I want to have in here. Um, and you'll notice, <clears throat> actually you won't notice because she's using a pen name, but there is um, a booktube friend who is, um, oh, and then look at this fun stuff. Woohoo! Um, yay! There is a booktube friend of ours um, who has a story in here as well. But I will let her spill those beans. So, um, it's done. I'm printing them out for those of you who have been, like, working on something to have it ready for the June 30th deadline. Still send that stuff in because I already have the second issue um, in formatting right now. So, um, I got more submissions than I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to have to like really fill the, the zine up with my own stuff, but um, it didn't turn out that way. So that's a good plus there. Um, 
So these will be available on my Etsy store as soon as um, I take the pictures of them because I have a bunch of them printed here. So that's that. Um, BookTube Live. I haven't done BookTube Live in a couple weeks, and it's not because I don't really want to do it. It's just I haven't been seeking out guests. So if you want to be on BookTube Live, I would love to have you. I just haven't been able to really quarry a lot of people. I do have one guest coming up. In fact, I think it's this weekend. I have to double check on that. Um, or it might be the end of July. I can't remember. But um, I do have a guest, one more guest. So if you would like to be on BookTube Live, please let me know. I just really haven't um, been hitting the pavement with when it comes to seeking out guests. So that's my bad. Um, and is that all of the updates? Um, BookTube D&D is going really good. Um, <clears throat> we will be playing on Sunday. So, um, if you haven't subscribed to BookTube D&D yet, go ahead and search that out. So, now, I want to talk to you about the, um... Readathon that's not really a readathon that I'm doing. Um, I've been writing a lot and doing a lot of. What the fucking hell? Sorry, I think this book's a little beat. Um, I've been writing a lot and doing a lot of other stuff that. That normally, um, this past year I wasn't doing a lot of. So, um, the amount of books I'm reading is really varying. So, sometimes I'll only read like one book in a week. Other times I'll read a couple books in a day. It, it just depends. Um, so... That's kind of why my actual book review or videos of that nature have been few and far between. So what I want to do this summer, because now that I live on a mountain, and I have for a couple years now, I'm really missing the beach. So I'm wanting to read a lot of summery, uh, beachy... Uh, even vacation-y kind of books. So I'm going to show you what I have set up here that I'm going to be reading. And if there's any that you're like, oh my gosh, you need to read blah, 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 please leave it down below because I'm setting up a list for the summer. So this is like my summer TBR kind of thing. So, Jaws 2 by um, Hank Searles based on the screenplay by Howard Sackler and Dorothy Tristan, inspired by Peter Benchley's Jaws. <clears throat> now, we've seen this book on here before. Um, and I must say, I hate the way the shark's mouth is shaped on this picture. Um, I do have another copy of this that isn't a Scholastic brand. Um... So I might read that one, but I think this one was in better shape, but I'm afraid that because it's scholastic, it'll be edited. So I need to figure that out first. Um, and since the only reason why I'm not reading Jaws is because I just read it not too long ago and I don't really want to read it again because it makes me hate Hooper. Um, but I do have some Benchley. So I'm going to be reading The Island. That looks terrifying. Haven't seen the movie that that's about. And then we also have, if you saw our book haul the other day, The Deep. I love that logo. So, um, I don't want to really know what those are about. One's about uh, water, and the other one's about an island. 
Um, I thought I had the first one of these, but I guess I don't. And I think this is the second one. But um, I will be reading um, that first one. This is The Trench. This is the second Meg book. Um, I believe it's the second Meg book. I guess I could check. <laughs> Doop -ba -doop -boop -boop. It doesn't tell me. Da -da 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 -da. So anyway, um, I want to try to read as many of the Meg books this summer as I can. <clears throat> I know there are quite a few people um, doing read-alongs and stuff with the Meg stuff. So um, open up a Voxer chat and... Let me know what's what, and we will be reading Meg books. And then, <clears throat> I was supposed to read this during Halloween, but I'm kind of glad I put it off. Um, the Ruins. This is a cool little die-cut cover. Ooh, la, la. Um, I've seen this movie, so I haven't been rushing to the book. But trapped in the Mexican jungle, a group of friends stumble upon a creeping horror unlike anything they could ever imagine. That's all that should be said right there. Um, <clears throat> so that's the stack that I have right now of summery, uh, beachy, vacation-y books. Um... I highly recommend Grizzly, if you haven't read Grizzly yet, or Jaws. Um, Grizzly, I'm going to make Zoe read as soon as she has like more than five minutes to sit down. Um, but I'm also going to be looking um, on eBay and stuff for um, like novelizations of like 80s I mean not even 80s but like like don't go into the woods alone um Friday the 13th uh sleepaway camp like anything like that I'm going to try to hunt down um <clears throat> even like Teristas if there's a book about like a novelization of that or Wolf Creek or um, ugh, I really don't want to read Hostel if there's a book of Hostel. Hmm. We'll see. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's everything. Let me know down below what I'm missing, and, um, I will do a video as soon as I, um, put the weird mask issues up on Etsy and please 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 if you were planning on sending me something still send it because I'm putting together the second issue right now and I would really like to have that out um, the first week of July that would be awesome so anyway so that's that you're you I me and I will see you guys soon bye bye click the bell click the bell